Hi, I'm Tom Molini. I'm here today partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. And this is the big one. So I see this all the time on social media. Teachers saying something like, I can't believe I'm going to lose all my Jamboard jams. I've seen that comment so many times. Well, guess what? What you'll actually lose is nothing. But wait, you're going to be able to keep your Jamboard jams even though Jamboard's going away? You're going to keep all of your Jamboard jams. And let me show you how. You're going to go to Figma.com and in the upper right corner, you'll see a button that says Import. Click on that and then click on From Jamboard. You see here Google Drive? We'll click on that and we have to connect to our Google Drive to do this. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on the account you want. And click continue. You can actually, I think you can do, yes, holding down the shift key, I can actually do multiple at the same time. So let me do these three right here. Let's do these three and let me hit select. It will take a minute to import the three Jamboard jams into FigJam. It has happened successfully. So let's click done. Let's go in. I'm going to open a new tab. So here comes the first one and you'll notice that each frame is now its own section. So you see that was a, a frame, now that's a section and sections, remember you can create sections right here. But that means I can hide it. I can also change it from this default white color to like a blue background. And so each frame comes in as a section. Let's look at another one here. So let's look at World War I long-term causes, open that. This came in as it was one frame, so it's just on the canvas right now. And I'll just zoom in real quick on some things I had here. So here's some text, so now I can edit that text. And this here is, these here are all um, ink. And so check this out. I can change that all to one color and I can also resize. So I'm adding functionality to what I had in Jamboard. How cool is that? I'll show you one more. If we go to, let's go to this one here. So here are, and this text, I'll just have to move this text a little bit. There we go, and it works. These are three images, and again, with the images, I can now uh, add alt text. I can crop, so let's crop into like a little shape here. Let's maybe go like more of a circle. And there we go, there, bam, there's Taylor. And then the really cool thing here is that I can go into this. This is a sticky note. And once I start typing, it will now, when I click this show hide author, it will show my name all these cool things I can do. And you notice all the individual components of my Jamboard Jam, they're fine. They're totally, you know, I can move them, manipulate them, even like the ink, like I saw earlier. So this is wonderful. How many Jamboard Jams that you've compiled and created over the years will you lose? Absolutely none. You're gonna keep each and every one of them by importing them into Fig Jam. Before I go, I want to shout out my partners at Figma. Get started today. Use FigJam at figma.com slash education. If you want to check out templates, maybe you don't have a lot of Jamboard Jams ready to go. Well, guess what? They have classroom templates for you. Go to figma.com slash at education. And if you want to start importing your jams right now, go to figma.com. And then in the upper right corner, click import. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy importing your Jamboard Jams into Fig Jam.